We can also find the product of two uh, complex numbers written in polar form. Just like we were able to before, we were able to multiply complex numbers in rectangular form. Now I just want to kind of show you and give you the encouragement and the confidence that we can also multiply complex numbers in polar form. And so basically how that works is if I have some z, so just ignore this stuff for a second, but let's say I have some z1, and we know that z is written as r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. And since I have two points, I'm going to distinguish um, this, R, this modulus and those arguments with a subscript 1. And then I have some other point, z2, as identified by r2, cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2. So there I have two points, and I'm just curious, what is Z1 times, sorry, Z1 times Z2? Well, that's multiplying those two out. And I'm not going to do the entire proof. I'm just going to start it with you just to show you where it's going. And so R1, so the first point Z1 is R1 times cosine theta 1 plus I sine theta 1 times z2, which is times my second modulus, cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2. Multiply those out. I can put the r's together just to keep them close. So r1 times r2, and then multiply all of this stuff. So cosine theta plus i sine theta, those are the ones, times cosine theta 2 plus i sine theta 2. All right, haven't done much yet. Let me just pause for a second, see, allow me to catch up. I have two points, two, two complex numbers written in polar form, identified as z1 and z2, and I kept the subscripts separate so we can tell which one we're dealing with. I just want to multiply those together. So setting them on up, multiplying them together, I, I multiply the r's, so I have them out in front, and what I have left now is a cosine theta, I sine theta times its uh, second point. And from here, this is basic FOIL. I have an F, O, I, and an L. So I'll multiply first times first term times first term. Uh, so that's cosine squared theta, outers, inners, last, and work my way through. And if I work my way through, all the way through, I'll get this product formula right here, which is basically the product of the modulus times the sum of the arguments, or where the arguments are summed. So let's look at that, and let's just kind of go with it uh, in action. So I have two points, two specific points on the polar plane, and I want to multiply those together. So to multiply them together says that I have z1 times z2 equals the product of the, of the moduluses, r1 times r2, and then cosine, where I'm going to add its uh, theta1 plus theta2 plus i times sine theta1 plus theta2. R1 times R2, 4 times is 7, which gives me 28. Cosine of uh, is first argument plus the second argument, 50 plus 100, gives me 150 degrees, plus I times sine of 150 degrees. So the product of two points, two complex points in polar form, when multiplied together, produce this result right here.